Last week, I previewed some of the new features that Evernote was going to be adding. Well, they added one of them. I want to show that one to you and a couple more. Hi, I'm Dave Edwards. I'm a certified Evernote expert. That means while I don't work for Evernote, I passed a certification process and uh, to become an Evernote expert. And I also am privileged to sit in on regular calls with Evernote staff so I can find out not only what Evernote is thinking about doing, but the features that they are releasing. And that's what I want to share with you today. So the latest version uh, for PC and Mac is 10.107.3. I'm going to show you some things that came out in that release, but you want to make sure that you have that release. So I'm going to show those to you, and I'm going to answer a question from a viewer. So the first one I want to talk about is how you can customize the sidebar in Evernote. This sidebar is extremely helpful. It's actually where I access most of my files that I'm working on, whether it be in a notebook or uh, even a shortcut. Uh, this is valuable space, but as you can see, it easily can get cluttered. Evernote gives you the opportunity to decide what belongs here and what does not. You can customize this entire sidebar. Here's the way you do it. You come over to your main, double click on that, and go to settings. When you go to settings, you can now click on sidebar. When you get the sidebar, it gives you a number of options. You can show the number of notes in each notebook. You can show recent notes task and event creation bars. Uh, you can also customize your sidebar by, higher, by hiding some of the options uh, that you have. So if you don't want to show recent notes, you click that off. If you don't want to show these task and uh, event buttons, you can click that off. And you can group hidden options in more. You can also decide which items will appear in your sidebar. So I don't use calendar. I can come over here, click on the little icon, and the calendar option has disappeared. If you don't use tasks, you can come over and click on this little I logo. And if you look at tasks over here, once I click tasks off, that disappears. So you have complete uh, control over everything that appears in your sidebar. The second thing I want to show you today is how you can set the screen for what you see when you first open Evernote. Some people love the home screen in Evernote, and whenever they open Evernote, they would like to be able to come to the screen automatically. Some people want to start on notebooks. Uh, they may want to start on their inbox notebook or a client folder that they use all the time. That's what they want to see when they open it up. Or when they open up Evernote, they may want to see uh, what note they were working on last. They want that to appear first thing. You now can decide. Come over, click on your name, go to settings, and the first thing you'll notice is this box right here. You can decide where Evernote should open. Do you want to start on the home page? Great, click that button. Or do you want to start on notes? Do you want to start on notebooks? Or do you want Evernote to start with the note that you were working on when you left off? You now have the option to control that, and it's as simple as going to settings. And finally, another new feature, how you can open links in a new window. Let's create a new note, and let's name the note. Now if you create a link to a note, you have now pasted in the link to another note. If I hover over the name, you will see the link to the note. You could also edit it if you want to change the name. You can click on the three dots, and now if you click Open in New Window, whenever you click on that note, it will in fact 
open in a new window. So if you want to have multiple uh, notes open or if you want to be able to see what you have uh, remaining in this note while still glancing at this, you can open multiple windows. So once again, I want to remind you that these new features are available in the latest release, which is 10.107.3. Yeah, that's the latest release unless a new release comes out between the time I'm recording this and the time you see it. But the features that I've uh, demonstrated to you today are in release 10.107.3. And if you want to know how to get it, just go to Evernote Download and you will find it there. By the way, if you're keeping track, the latest mobile version is 10.107.0. Okay. Uh, I got another question uh, from someone who said they're very concerned that they're having troubles opening Evernote and they are finding it to be less reliable and they're worried about losing access to their notes. Well, that's an interesting question, one that comes up from time to time. Uh, when people post that they are having a problem opening Evernote, one of the first things I suggest is, of course, that you log out, clear your cache, and then re-log in. Oftentimes, that will take care of it. Um, I also suggest that you make sure that you're running the latest version. There are some people out there I know who are running really old versions of Evernote. Uh, the other thing is, if you're really concerned about whether or not your account is gone, and it's not, uh, go to the website, Evernote.com. Don't use the app. Go to Evernote.com. Log in there, and everything should show up there. Um, of course, Evernote has the new bug fixer. If you are uh, certain that whatever you have found, whatever you're having a problem with is not just you, that it's more systemic, create a ticket there. You'll not only be able to create the ticket, but you'll be able to see what the Evernote team is working on right now. Now, don't get frustrated if when you file a ticket, you don't instantly see it on somebody's work list. That's not practical. But what I have been told is that when the Evernote team sees a number of bugs being reported, the same issue coming up over and over again, well, they can take a look at it there. Uh, one of the other things that I'm really excited about is that Evernote is forming a special team that will work on not only debugging, but trying to make sure that the program is operating efficiently and as effectively as it can be. There are other teams working on new improvements, but they will have a standalone team of developers looking at the Evernote program as, exist, as it exists. Now, I find Evernote to be very reliable. Oh, once in a while, something will bog down, but usually it corrects itself, and other times it's just my problem. If you have questions about Evernote uh, that you can't find an answer for, uh, I would just shoot me an email. I will try to answer as many questions as I can. I'll try to answer more questions in upcoming episodes.